It was a busy week of sports here in Columbia as South Carolina baseball got its season into full swing and basketball got a little closer to the SEC tournament. We've got everything you need to know next on Capital City Sports. Hi everyone, welcome inside the Kennedy Greenhouse studio here on the Horseshoe for this week's episode of Capital City Sports. I'm Brett Williams. South Carolina baseball got its season off to a great start with a clean sweep of the Albany Great Danes over opening weekend. They continued it with beating Appalachian State on Tuesday 5-0 and were right back at it against Winthrop on Wednesday. For coverage of that one, we sent it to Ideen Gorbani at Founders Park. The undefeated Carolina Gamecocks playing their fifth game in six days here tonight and they host the Winthrop Eagles and they'll be looking to get a little revenge. Winthrop beat Carolina here last year in extra innings. Winthrop is also 4-0 on their season undefeated right now so one of these teams will walk away with their first loss of the year tonight. We'll see who it is. The Gamecocks getting hyped up with a little pre-game ritual. Winthrop hoping for a similar outcome as the last time they were here. There's Kanan Cropper. He gets the start for tonight, his first start of the year, but his second appearance for the season. First inning, Winthrop swinging away, but they can't keep up with what Cropper's throwing. <laughs> Winthrop not a single hit in the first inning, and Cropper's job is easy so far. Bottom of the first, John Jones slips a single into left field. Third baseman can't get to it. Bases loaded, Alex Destino with an RBI grounder. Mooney would score and Destino would make it to first safely. Jones was able to score on a balk, but here's Chris Cullen floating single to center and that would score Destino. Gamecocks up 3-0 and LT Tolber, that'll sting tomorrow. He takes a base and moves Cullen up to second. And here's the play of the game, TJ Hopkins nails one over the center field wall almost to the parking lot and the Gamecocks like what they're seeing from their freshman hitter. Hopkins first career homer, Gamecocks lead by six. Lead off single in the second inning for Winthrop and the Eagles trying to answer back with some hits of their own. Make that one hit, Cropper on fire on the mound delivers another scoreless inning for the Gamecocks. Bottom of the second, not how Mooney wanted to get on base but it'll do. Jonah Bride says, I'll take a walk as well. Alex Destino, line drive to right side. That'll bring Mooney home and the Gamecocks tack on two more. And so far, Winthrop has no answer for Carolina. Fourth inning, Tyler Haswell, the pitcher, leadoff double for Winthrop. That one bounces back to the bullpen. Only their second hit of the night, followed by this, a chopper up the middle. First RBI of the night for Winthrop, but it would stop there. Tyler Haswell playing a little defense. Gamecocks lead 8-1 to one going into the sixth inning. Bottom of the sixth, Thompson Williams floats one to center field. It will drop for a single. John Jones smacks one to right field, pushes Thompson Williams to third. He goes on to score on a bases loaded walk. LT Tolber, high fly ball, brings Jones home, and Carolina goes up 11 to 1. Winthrop singles to left field, top of the seventh inning, followed by a hopper down the middle. They score one runner and cut the lead to nine, but Carolina wasn't done yet. Bottom of the seventh, bases loaded. Destino singles to center field. Thompson Williams comes home to score, and the Gamecocks keep pouring on hits in the seventh inning. They score five runs to go up 16 to 2. Winthrop would not go out silently. They did score two runs in the ninth inning, but they were never once a threat to this Carolina baseball team tonight and the Gamecocks offensively and defensively dominate Winthrop on the diamond. A windy game here tonight, but the wind would not help Winthrop at all. The Gamecocks win 16 to four without much of a fight from the Eagles and eight of the nine starters in Carolina's lineup score at least one run. Alex Destino and TJ Hopkins lead the team with four RBIs apiece and the Gamecocks improve to five and zero on the season. They look forward to hosting Penn State this weekend. From Founders Park with SGTV, I'm Idean Gorbani. Baseball looked to stay in rhythm during its second weekend series of the season. This time the Gamecocks were hosting the Penn State Nittany Lions. We start things off with coverage of Game 2 on Saturday, and for that, here's Hannah Sims. It's a great day for baseball here at Founders Park. USC is taking on Penn State for the second game of the series. The Gamecocks won last night 7-1 to and are hoping to win again today to continue their win streak. Let's take a look at some of today's highlights. Braden Webb starts off great in the top of the first, allowing no runners on base for Penn State. 
Going to the bottom of the first, Jonah Bride singles to third base and John Jones is walked, setting up the three-man home run for Alex Destino. This gives Carolina the lead at 3 and F. Jumping to the top of the third, Conlon Hughes reaches first base on a throwing error. After that, the Gamecocks have a few more errors and Penn State scores two runners, making the score 3 to 2. Carolina wouldn't lose momentum though. The Gamecocks score seven runs in the bottom of the third. A key play is Alex Destino's grand slam. The score at the end of the third is 10 to 2. Carolina adds another run in the fourth and then going to the sixth inning, another grand slam. This time by John Jones. This makes the score 16 to 3. Penn State would score single runs in the seventh and ninth innings, and Carolina would walk away with a 16 to 5 win. With the win today, the Gamecocks were able to hold on to their undefeated season and clinch the series. They play Penn State for the last game of the series tomorrow at 1.30 and are hoping for a sweep. For Capital City Sports, I'm Hannah Sims. Playing its fifth game in six days, baseball finished the series against Penn State on Sunday. Let's take it to Founders Park one more time. Lauren Schwartz is there. After a strong 7-1 win on Friday and a 16-5 blowout on Saturday, the Gamecocks look for a sweep of the Penn State Nittany Lions today. John Jones and Alex Asina are back in the three and four holes after each having a grand slam yesterday. Let's see if the Gamecocks finish out the series strong. Taylor Widener makes the start for the Gamecocks looking for his first win. He went five innings in his first outing, allowing only two hits and no earned runs. Hughes leads off the game for Penn State with a long fly to left field that Dom Thompson-Williams can't handle, putting Hughes on second. Penn State doesn't leave him on base for long as Rioto singles and brings Hughes around to score from second. Widener issues a walk and it looks like more trouble is brewing for the Gamecocks, but they quickly get out of it with a smooth 5-3 double play to end the inning. The offense gets off to a good start in their half of the inning as Jonah Bride singles up the middle and John Jones draws a one-out walk. That puts runners on first and second for cleanup hitter Alex Destino, who hits a grounder back to the pitcher, who then tries to turn the double play, but an errant throw by the shortstop goes right past the first baseman, allowing Jones to easily score and tie the game up at one after one full inning of play. Penn State looks to retaliate in the top of the second as they tack on two more hits, the first a single to left by Bowersox, and the second a single to right by Sloninger, but they can't capitalize and end up leaving two men on. The Gamecocks come out hot in the third inning as D.C. Arendis leads off with a single to center field. Thompson Williams follows with a single of his own, putting two men on for a sack bunt by Bride, but the pitcher commits a throwing error, making the bases loaded for the Gamecocks. Hot hitting Jones comes up and puts one into right field to bring in Arendis and Thompson Williams. With one out, LT Tolbert is intentionally walked to give Penn State the opportunity for a double play to end the inning. Chris Cullen doesn't let that happen though, as he hits this big sack fly to left that allows Bride to tag up from third. The Gamecocks lead 4-1 to one after three. Penn State cuts into that lead with a leadoff home run to right field in the fourth, making the score 4-2. to two. They try to get their offense going again in the fifth as Widener issues a walk. The runner then advances to second on a wild pitch by Widener. After giving up yet another walk, Widener is pulled from the game. He went four and two-thirds innings, giving up seven hits, two walks, and two earned runs. He struck out two. Reed Scott comes in to relieve Widener. He enters the game with two and a third shutout innings pitched so far this season. Scott immediately gets out of the inning as Cullen guns down a runner stealing third. That would be the last threat Penn State would pose. Scott dominates the lineup, getting batters to hit into easy ground outs and pop outs. Josh Reagan comes in in the ninth for the save and strikes out the final batter to cap off the series against Penn State. The Gamecocks swept the Nittany Lions with a final score of 4-2. It was a well-rounded win for the Gamecocks to finish off the weekend. Reed Scott earned his first win of the season, throwing three and a third hitless innings of relief. 
John Jones had an outstanding weekend going 8 for 8 in the series. The Gamecocks head to the Citadel on Tuesday for their first away game of the year. For Capital City Sports, I'm Lauren Schwartz. That'll do it for this week's episode of Capital City Sports. Stay tuned for more from us the rest of the spring semester with plenty from baseball, softball, men's and women's basketball, and a whole lot more. A couple big events coming up in the near future. Next week is the Reedy River Rivalry Series as South Carolina and Clemson do battle on the Diamonds across the state. And one week later will be the Men's Basketball SEC Tournament from Nashville. In the meantime, like us on Facebook and Instagram at Capital City Sports and follow us on Twitter at CCS on SGTV. For all of us here at Capital City Sports, I'm Brett Williams. Carolina, forever to thee.